start recording. Okay, we're doing the the cordless cordless welder, other applications. We're doing the Raspberry Pi tablet. We're looking at a Raspberry Pi battery pack holder. Now the the design rationale is we got these battery packs that fit 18650s, but don't, the last problem only in the design rationale is that lithium is not so eco-friendly. We can be in, envisioning we can envision a future where lithium is a scarce resource with about 30 to 200 years of supply left. So how about these uh, carbon dioxide-like cylinders that instead store hydrogen? Um, and if you compare chemical energy to electrochemical energy, we have a factor of 10x efficiency per mass for electromechanical, or say for chemical, over electrochemical. So in other words, a battery that weighs a kilo will have 10 times less energy than fuel that weighs a kilo. In fact, it's much, much worse than that. So, but let's take 10x for, for a figure here. So say you, you put in 12 grams, like here it's carbon dioxide, 12 grams inside one of these bullets that are about the same size as an 18650 cell, then uh, for the same weight, because each, each, uh, each battery weighs like 50 grams. Well, if this thing is industry standard 12 grams of gas content, then uh, we still have like a factor 12 compared to like 54. We still have like double the energy inside one of these bullets if we can put in 12, 12 grams of hydrogen fuel in there. Now, getting 12 grams inside a bullet like that, that's really like not possible probably because it's, you probably need high pressure, but maybe, maybe it is possible. I don't know the numbers yet, but at least mass-wise, if we were to, to fit 50 grams of hydrogen in one of these bullets, we'd have like 10x to 100x the energy of a lithium-ion battery. So now the challenge becomes, how much pressure can we get into one of these bullets? How much weight of hydrogen can we get into one of these bullets? And maybe the answer there is like a nickel metal hydride, like metal hydride storage for, for the gas uh, that we can contain in such bullets. But I could see, like I like hydrogen because it's a non-scarce resource. It comes from water, you can split water. Now lithium is definitely a scarce resource. You only have 200 years at present usage rates, and if the the car the electric car economy explodes, then you only have a few decades. So that's not the answer for the future of humanity. So it's interesting to explore now. Okay, instead of these battery packs being lithium-ion cells, we have little tiny gas bullets that fit in our <laughs> battery packs instead. So that's just a thought experiment, and maybe we can explore that further for what the actual data is, for how much weight of hydrogen. Uh, we can get in one of these bullets and I'll be in our next episode. I'll get got to go through those numbers but that's definitely worthwhile to consider that as part of the Raspberry Pi project right here. Do some calculations on an energy storage of a hydrogen bullet. Uh, high pressure hydrogen little thing. Um, it's safe for carbon dioxide to high pressure. Let's see if it's safe for hydrogen. Of course you got to have uh, consider safety issues of, of gas but as long as the gas is pure only hydrogen it's, it's very safe. It will not explode on you. It will it will have the pressure, like a pressure cylinder, but it will not explode on you because the oxygen is not there. Okay, so let's talk about that later.